What's up guys? Will with Urban Outdoors DMV. If you hadn't done so already, go ahead and smack that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, be part of the action. We're going out to Eastern Shore today because I'm going to do something I've never done before. As soon as we get done sitting in that shitty mess over there on 50 Bridge, we're going out there and we're going to do some fishing. And I'm going to take my kayak in for the first time and try not to drown. Stay tuned. See, wearing my Sunday's best over here. Got my best pro shirt on because honestly, I was like one of the clean shirts I had left. Although they're not a sponsor, if I get some of the best pro money, that'd be helpful. Appreciate you. I got my uh, shorts on and I got uh, my best set of shoes on over here. So I'm planning on getting wet. And since we're on the topic of Bass Pro, I actually got all this stuff from them. Uh, I don't really have a lot of accessories. Got the stuff I got. I got the, the Sand Life jacket. I got some plugs, which honestly I didn't know I even needed. But I want to get them from uh, from Frogs, from Tony up there. I go in there like that. I got my improved seat. I heard those seats that come with it, they suck. So that's going to go in there. Then I got my paddle. All well, it's from Ascend, and all this stuff came from Bass Pro Shop. So I'm hoping I got the right stuff. If I'm missing stuff, if, if, if I'm missing things that you guys know that I need that I don't figure out today, please let me know in the comments. All right, I almost said I'm ready to go. And then left my damn fishing gear and all that stuff here. So this is what I'm taking. I'm taking my finesse with my fluorocarbon on there. I use for worms and I'm taking my top water stuff and then all my gear. So Dean told me that this thing is for keeping stuff dry? Was that it? I don't know, does that work like that? Yeah, I guess it works like that. Okay, check that. Dean told me that this was the one for keeping stuff dry that didn't make it dry. I guess the other one is just storage. <sighs> stick that in there. Stick my wallet in there. Stick my phone in there, even though it's waterproof. that up okay we're ready to go all right here goes nothing so, maybe not You guys are definitely seeing a first. I have never done this before. Been on boats all my life. Down the open ocean playing times. Been on many a small craft. I used to own my own boat, but this is a first. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this without this thing floating away. Pumping it along, pumping it. Come on, come on. All right, and I'm kayaking. All 
All right, so far so good. I'm still dry. Uh, this is gonna be really weird to try to fish from this thing. I can't wait. First kayak bass. First kayak bass ever. Oh, no, it's had a pass, the pickerel. Oh, look at this dude. Look, oh, oh, come here, come here. It's a pickerel. I don't believe it. Come here, dude. Oh. Look at that. Pickerel. Unbelievable. First one of the season. Oh, shit, he's going on my pants. Oh, God. Look at that. All right, Mr. Pickerel, you have the honor of being the first fish caught on this boat. He's a little baby. We're going to let him go. Go back. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so that was cool. Uh, first time in a kayak, first time fish on the kayak. First chain pickerel, and God, I don't even remember when was the last time I caught a chain pickerel, too. And it's like, what time is it? It's 6.30, I mean, yeah, I, I guess so. He looked like he was just hanging out in, that, um, in those pads behind me, and he came out and swiped at it. And uh, that was awesome. So I love when a plan comes together, especially when I don't drown. It's good, let's see if we can get another. All right, there was one sitting right off that island right there, or whatever that is. I don't know what it is. I think it's a bass. Right. Nice. All right. Thanks, buddy. You have the distinct honor of being the first largie I catch on my boat. I think they is. Hey, whatever. Thanks, man. Just in case you guys uh, haven't got the gist of what's going on, I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm trying not to fall into the water. I realize that if you have to sit, if you sit center of gravity in the boat, like as middle as you possibly can, you don't feel like you're going to fall in the water. Um, there is, I don't know what you call it, some kind of vegetation right there. I picked up small largemouth on the left side, and I'm going to I'm going to treat this like I'm on you know a big boat with a trolling motor, I'm gonna kinda like come around, creep back in, and then pick the other two corners of that apart. See if I can get another fish, see if it's holding any more fish, cause that was a little dank, but sure it was a lot of fun. I hate to be that guy, and I know I don't have a sponsorship, but I have my favorite baits, and these Strike King, and this color, these KVD Finesse, they work. Especially when you got dark stained, any kind of stained water. Fish just love them. These red color with the blue flakes in there, I mean, and it's trick worm. I mean, I know I'm not catching huge fish, but I'm getting a lot of action. that was whatever it was it was small I learned two important things today one you got to sit in the middle of the boat and like lean back being all the way towards the back of the boat will uh, make you feel like you're gonna tip over especially when you're paddling trying to make yourself as center as possible so I, I figured that out today um, second thing is I missed a ton of fish and maybe it's because it's the angle you know what I mean? On the angle done or whatever, but like I didn't, I didn't really hook into any fish that didn't straight up lay into it or swipe it and get hooked real good. I missed a bunch of bites. I don't think I missed anything huge, but I missed a bunch of bites because I don't know. It's just weird when you're like this low to really set the hook and lay into them. Uh, it's just completely different. It's crazy. So that's the second thing I learned today. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to adjust that. If you guys have any other helpful tips and tricks in terms of setting a hook when you're on a kayak, I'd love to hear them. Put them in the comments below. Am I supposed to do this like I'm like landing a boat? I don't know. I don't know. Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah! Oh shit!
Oh. Oh. All right. Survive my maiden voyage. Didn't die. All right. A lot of lessons learned today, folks. Uh, if you guys can get a schmudge right there. There we go. If you guys can help me out at all in any way, suggest things I'm doing wrong, by all means, drop in the comments. I really appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being with my first experience. See you guys next time.